Hello, eGlass users. Luke TV Bot here with Pathway Innovations. Um, there are various ways to bring in images, uh, digital text, PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints. Um, but there are some resources like a web page that you can't just drag and drop or import into eGlass Fusion. And so you will want to use Media Play. So let's bring something in real quick. So you see how I've got this web browser open of this 3D interactive eyeball. That might be what I want to bring into eGlass Fusion to kind of share the spotlight with. So since I have that resource open, then what I'm going to do is click on Browsers and Media Play. I want to bring in this 3D interactive eyeball. So I'm just going to select that and click OK. And now that it's in here, if I click on this arrow, I can clean up this content just a little bit. I'm going to optimize for this eyeball, sharing the spotlight, right? Because I've got Luke in eGlass Fusion and I've got this eyeball in eGlass Fusion. And now that I've kind of resized that, I can click on this gear icon and do my ba background removal trick. Now, this wasn't exactly what I wanted. I kind of want to get in close to this eyeball and be able to see around it very clearly. So I happen to know that on this resource, I can use the remove color color picker. So I'm gonna use this eyedropper. I'm gonna select this gradient in here and it picks some of that, but you see this sensitivity slider? If I increase that, it's gonna take away all of that gray gradient. And now I can get in close to this eyeball and talk about the difference between the optic nerve and the retina and the lens and the whatever else is here in the eyeball. So I hope that's helpful. Um, you know, it takes a little practice, but uh, it's, it's a great way to share the spotlight with resources that don't fall into the uh, just drag and drop category. Again, like PDFs and PowerPoints and Word documents and images. So try this out. Let us know if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Bye.